Welcome to the Solana Changelog, where we go through the changes every week on Solana. My name is Jacob, and I'm joined today with Joe. Uh, Happy New Year. It's good to be back. Let's get started with this. Um, So if you've been looking through the Solana Improvement document proposals uh, recently, there's been a lot. I think we're up to number 16 right now, and that's exactly what we'll go after today, is that the SIMD16 has application fees for writable accounts. That's kind of the title of it. Um, So let's talk about it, see what it's about. Um, So SIMD16, what it does is it allows a application like a dApp to be able to set fees for a writable account. So what does that mean? It's more of like every account that you can change, like say you have a token balance in it and you want to change it from one to two, um, the application can set a fee for changing that balance. So what do you think about that, Joe? How does that work in the example that you're kind of describing? Like, how, how does my application have the authority to set those fees, like technically? Right. So as part of this proposal, there's going to be a new program for application fees. Um, so what you can do is you can set fees for if you if basically if you own the program, you can set fees for writable accounts on the program so that like, for example, um, say you have Orca trading on a market and people are trading on a specific market and that market's really hot. You can actually Orca can change it, uh, that fees for that market and make it higher or lower at their will um, so that they can kind of manage the uh, user experience and how people trade on the market. Interesting. So would you say that that, like, I feel like that sort of competes with the idea of having like more of like a market-based fee setting, right? Like that's a little bit more of like an authoritative, almost centralized way of doing things, wouldn't you say, or no? That there is kind of a discussion around that, um, and it's part of the discussion on the SMD. It also kind of uh, it goes hand in hand with like okay, SMD sixteen is these application fees that are designated by the actual uh, D apps that run uh, applications on the network, and then there's also like SMD I think it's four, which is kind of like changing the base fees and fees based off of. Uh, computation, uh, computational costs. Um, so they're really like, this is kind of like another idea for like how economics can change to be better for the user. Um, it's still a proposal. So like open for discussion. Yeah. And, and there's obviously a lot of like aspects to it. There like tons of different ways you can look at it, but just, I encourage anybody who wants to kind of like weigh in on that, go ahead. Like that's part of the proposal process, you know, like we want public opinion. We want to have as many kind of like ideas flowing around and and thoughts on different proposals. So go ahead and weigh in. Yeah, go ahead. There's also uh, the people that created it, they have a POC, so you can actually try it out um, and see what it looks like for you and and get the hands and feel of it. And then uh, what is the resource this week, uh, Joe? Yeah, so um, technically not exactly a resource per se, but a very, very helpful bit um, for anybody who's a developer. There's a hackathon being put on by um, Helios Labs and Lamport Dow, and they've got tons of sponsors, tons of prizes. It's called Sandstorm, and that runs from, I believe, January 10th to the 23rd. It's an online virtual hackathon. Um, you can sign up with Lamport Dow, and um, you can check out the site. We'll have a link in the description here, but, um, yeah, jump in there, build something cool, you know, try to kick off the new year with some cool prize money and, uh, you know, start some of those projects you've been thinking about. Cool. And also if you have questions on, uh, things while you're developing in this new hackathon, like feel free to ask them on either the Solana stack exchange and discord, et cetera. Like there's tons of people willing to help out. Yeah, absolutely. And then some commits that happened this past week. Uh, there was kind of a change to be able to count uh, non-vote transactions as well as vote transactions kind of separately in the bank. Um, this kind of allows you to get a more realistic TPS via uh, the get sampled performance RPC call. Um, so that is a recent change that happened. Um, it's not live yet, but it's been pulled in. So you'd be able to see the transaction count on Solana with the like vote transactions omitted if you wanted? If you wanted, yeah. Cool. 
that'll help give, and, give a good amount of insight into like what the network's up to. I like that. And what did you see, Joe? Um, yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff that, you know, people have been up to. The gang is back at work. Um, but I, I noticed that the closed accounts now appear on the Explorer, which, you know, is kind of cool. Um, so you can see that the account has been closed. You can get confirmation there. And um, there was some stuff about, like, commission changes too, right? Um, you know, right. Maybe talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so there was a, a PR pulled in uh, kind of locking, in a way, commission changes in the second half of an epic. Um, so what we were kind of seeing recently was that some validators were changing their commission rates uh, at the last minute, uh, which is not a great user experience. Uh, so in order to kind of like give time for users to react to maybe uh, malicious validators um, changing their commission rates, their, the commission changes would be locked with this feature uh, at the second half of the epic, um, giving a decent amount of time for people to react if their validator is changing things. It also makes it more public of like, um, someone changed it, it's very easy to tell because like it'll be locked for X amount of time versus switching it up and then switching back within a few seconds. So that obviously, you know, has a lot of benefit for users there, but is there any kind of like drawbacks from that for validators, like for honest validators? I think it kind of like changes the way that you uh, can change commission. Uh, like if you can't change it as quickly in this, like you'll have to wait until the second half of the Epic is complete. Now note this, it, it was pulled in, but this will probably have to come up to like a validator to vote to actually implement. Um, so it will be a discussion across validators of whether or not like, Hey, should we, should we vote this to be into the network or should we just keep it the way it is in the current state? I don't know. Did you see anything else for commits at all or? No, that was just about it. Um, everybody's just getting warmed up and getting started for the new year. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a big year. You can already feel the sentiment, you know, um, I think the community is already coming back online. Everybody's got a little bit of rest. So it's good to see, and we will bring you guys more changes next week as per usual. But thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time. Okay, thank you.